Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back for episode 10 of Taiwan Typhoon. We just established this colony at the end of the previous episode. Oh, yes, that reminds me too, we have colonial maintenance quite far down. Um, so what's that say? Minus 48 per year? And that's, so we need to get this up to at least plus 10. Uh, that would give us plus one ducat per month. Let's bring this to where we have plus 0.5. Actually, that's almost all the way up. Now, we will have that down a little bit. Yeah, that went well. Ah, yes, I was going to get an admiral, although we are at one of one leaders. Yeah, because we have no power projection. <laughs> I'm going to wait until we have the minus 15% neighbor bonus. Uh, we should have our mission pop up soon. We've had several rounds of missions uh, in which we have not gotten the colonize mission, which has been very rough because we're really depending on colonial enthusiasm to keep us going in this playthrough. You know what, let's uh, send our diplomats out because they haven't done anything in forever. Let's just improve relations with the folks around us. I maybe should have started with the Wu, actually. Yeah, I forget about the Yue for a minute. Because the Wu, we know, have fabricated a claim on us. And it would maybe be a good idea just to click on people and see. Yeah, so they have a claim. They do not have a claim. and Well, actually, they can't reach us anyway. Alright, so they are the only people who have a claim on us. Ah, wonderful. Colonize Palu, that is... No, that's Palawan. Uh, where's... Oh, Palu's down here. That's right. And I did accept the mission. Yes, I did. Okay, that would be a... dumb mistake. Uh, that's a lot of local... Whoa, I thought I was paused. Ah, oh, this keeps happening. All right. Um, I'd rather not lose the admin power. So this is Ilocos. Not too much base tax. And I think our government type gives us... No, it doesn't give us... Minus uh, autonomy. Yeah, I think that's too much local autonomy. Although I could just decrease it. I think. I'm actually not sure if that's true or not. Oh, no, that's not enough to cover. Alright, we'll just spend the admin power. Oh, finally. So good to have colonial enthusiasm again. That is not very high new settler chance. And again, it's such a tiny colony right now. Only 108 people. Uh, yeah, we have to choose this. It's actually not that high of a population, though, so I don't really mind taking that. You know, I'm recording this at 60 frames per second, but my FPS counter is actually barely reading more than, like, 25 So, um, maybe I shouldn't be recording 60 frames per second then. So if I pause... Oh yeah, then the frame rate goes right up. What about speed of 4? And yeah, that hangs around 40, 46. 
Okay, so basically, speed 5 kills the frame rate. So it's probably still worth it recording in 60 frames per second. Wow, we're really close to getting the limber. Alright, the woo. Okay, so that means the UA will be next for improved relations. Plus 70 is not, not great, but... Eh. I think Ming has already faced rather considerable internal conflicts, wouldn't you say? It's so weird. The Ming... I feel like they've been kind of shifting around, popping up here, popping up there. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, I don't remember Yumen belonging to the Ming before. We could actually take this mission. We don't have a very high positive balance, but high enough for us to take that mission, I think. The extra manpower is quite valuable, although it's true we haven't been fighting wars. We've just been losing troops to uh, occasional native uprisings. Once we have another two, maybe three provinces, I think we'll easily be able to support two colonies going at once. Oh yeah, I put my focus in military. When can we change that? Uh, another five years, okay. I mean, I'm not sure that I necessarily want to change it because we're still quite far behind our neighbors, apparently. Yeah, just for fun, let's see. You are at level 7, level 6, level 8. Wow. Level 6. Actually, I really doubt that we're going to get more than a 15% bonus. How much longer do we have this? 1525. Yeah, and we simply cannot placate the Wu. I mean, even if we gave them a maxed out gift, the most we could get them to is um, 95. And they don't want a marriage. I guess the problem with having multiple colonies is having enough troops to actually uh, support all that. Our force limit's going up quite fast, but more troops is, you know, more expenses in that sense as well. Although some of these have lower populations. Oh yeah, like that one, just 1,000. Uh, green. Gross. Settler chances going up pretty healthily. I'm keeping an eye on the time. Uh, in, I think, July? Yeah, we'll say July. We will accept a mission and cancel it. And hopefully we can roll right into getting another colonization mission. The economy is doing really well. I had this calibrated to about plus 0.4 ducats a month earlier. Let's just crank up the colonial maintenance then.
I feel like we should start a colony here very soon. Three base tax, two base tax. Yeah, we could divide our army and do both of those at once, I'm positive. Although that is a nice province, it's just that the ferocity is quite high. Whoop. Oh, that's great, 353. Three. Our other guy could not have been more than 40 years old. So that is surprising. So now, yeah, this is some pretty healthy point gain. I'm still hoping to somehow get the 15% neighbor bonus. I guess we should take that. So before we had 8% cost reduction here, and now it is 14. Due to taking those extra ideas. So that does save us Monarch points in the long run. Ah, wonderful. Alright, that takes us over our manpower cap pretty healthily. Oh. Or no, no, no. Yeah, it was going to be July of... Yeah. Okay, good. So I caught that just in time. Uh, Battle of Tondo, that's fine. Oh, actually, no. We should just take that mission. I completely missed the fact. <laughs> Uh, I'm so used to playing Republic and stuff. Okay. Yeah, let's recover that. Tiny bit of prestige. It's going very well now. up to 45% chance now. Yeah, we're definitely in the snowballing phase. I think we can have this finished off within two minutes. Maybe three. Yeah, I set the autosaves to every half year to be slightly safer. Alright, there we go. Quanize Palu... So that is 40% right now. No way, we have to spend those ducats. Yeah, there's no way we could finish the colony in time to um, avoid that mission, unfortunately. So let what can we do here? Um because I don't want to take out a loan if I can help it. And I don't want to risk that auto-triggering. Yeah, okay, we'll just have to take out one loan. We'll live. Well, we've had a bunch of battles in rapid succession here. That's really bugging me, actually. There we go, over 50% chance now. 
could be done within three months. No, okay. Well, it could be done three months from now. Uh, well, so it's just a question of are we going to lose Diplo power or admin power? It's true that we have a lot of admin power right now. But I want to continue teching up in Diplo, try to get more trade efficiency. Although the next one's not until level 10, huh? And we get more admin power per month. Yeah. We'll lose the stability, and we have recover negative stability. The mission. Prestige is not worth that much, but it's better than nothing. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Two more months. Alright, so at this point... Uh, sorry, how many do we get per month? 60 per year, rather. Okay. So we want to bring this down to 10. Or being slightly under is okay as well. Because we can just rely on the tick of um, population. There we go. Oh, I'm really happy about that. Make Tondo into a core. We'll start that. What? Wow, that's kind of weird. Uh, take a screenshot of that. Oh, no, no, no. That's... Oh, my gosh. That's not the coring button. No, that's the add to empire. Now, make core. than it needs to be. But yeah, land on Visayas. So they landed fine, no problems. And let's just take care of this. Whoa. Yeah, that would be nice. I don't think I've seen this mission before. The uncharted territory within and beyond the jungles at our border may seem threatening to many people, but our tribe has lived in lands like these for a long time and would never have thrived if we feared exploring the unknown. Now a large group of young hunters are asking for the High Chief's permission to explore and settle in whatever place they may discover. Certainly these are capable people who could get a lot done if they don't waste if they didn't waste time on dreams of places not yet known. But who are we to put a stop to youthful curiosity? Yeah, let's do it. We were going to uh Or no, we weren't going to Hmm, that's fine, though. We do lose a fair amount of manpower, but... Again, it's fine. Okay. Uh, so let us... No, no, no! You're supposed to... Ugh, alright. Take the ship. Oh, yes, and also send a colonist there. And how long does colonial enthusiasm last until 1530? So we still have a few good years there. I also suspect it may be the case that some events are pausing my game. Sorry, I keep talking about this issue with pausing, but it has caused problems. Oh, yes, and we currently have this set weight down. Let's just be breaking even. But yeah, we are now sustaining two colonies. Grow 28 per year and uh, 58 per year. Yeah, due to the used to tropical modifier. It's happening, we're snowballing. Two colonies at once, and uh, we're actually now getting even more money. Now we're not going to take any of those missions. Uh, we should get a little more than that, right? Let's do the two of the month. 
Wow, that's a lot more. Okay. Alright, I think we'll call that an episode. Oh, this is so, so good. I'm very happy right now. Oh, wait, do we... Uh, I just want to check the modifier here. Do we get... No. So... So that bonus, used to tropical, only works under normal growth, not the new settlers. Hmm. Alright, well, good night, sleep tight, and don't let the grayskin bite. Bye-bye.